Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a Cumbre Vieja volcano eruption update from La Palma. There has been increasing tremor, lava flows, and the town of Todoque has been destroyed. The eruption continues with lava fountains from the new vent that opened last night and continuing lava flow emissions. During the past hours, volcanic tremor has increased significantly, suggesting that output rate has increased or something else is changing. It will probably become clearer in the next hours what is actually happening. Now, during the past 24 hours, activity has been relatively stable. The advance of the fronts has slowed, and that's the lava fronts, and they've remained approximately one kilometer from the shore. Due to the fact that the flow fronts are now in less steep terrain, which causes them to widen significantly and slow. So a lot of people are wondering uh, what's going on here. Here is the what's happening, the uptick in seismicity that we're seeing in the last six hours. This is after 36 hours of pretty much quiet and continuous eruption. Something is occurring once again, and we'll keep a close eye on that. A lot of people also don't know where the lava is emanating based on some comments. Cumbre Vieja is split by a, a high point ridge in the center here that I'm drawing, and this lava is in the center of the southwestern flank, and it is moving south and west. So that is the position on the island where the fissures have opened. The second fissure is just south of the main fissure um, and in the same direction of the lava flow. So it's not in a new area. It's basically in the same spot affecting the same communities. Now, here is the lava flow update. The urban center of Todoke, numerous road closures have happened. We have a map for you here, which you can use um, from Google Earth to see where the position of the lava is. It is estimated that this is going to move through these two old, look at that, cinder cones <laughs> and make its way to the sea. So you can see this is a very dynamic island. These are brand new cinder cones here from a recent eruption in the past few hundred years. And we're going to even cover that in just a moment. Right here is a quick summary of the recent volcanic eruptions on La Palma. And we can, what we can see here is that the position of the El Char Charco, the 1712 eruption is the same position as the current eruption. So it might be related to the same vents, and we're looking right in this region. Uh, it could also be related to the Tehuya, the 1585 eruption, and that is in pretty much the same area as that vent. And it could also be part of a group of vents called the San Juan vents. So this is the eruptive history of La Palma, and we'll leave you links to this amazing little video below. Now, fake news, Canary Islands volcano eruption won't cause an East Coast mega tsunami. I don't know what's fake news, but there are plenty of peer-reviewed papers on the potential for collapse on these islands. And do your own homework and come to your own conclusions. Reading a talking point from uh, the media that says fake news, you can probably discount it. Here we are live, directo over at La Palma and the current main fissure. And you can see the lays and the haze. Well, it also could be cloudy. It's not looking very clear. And the live stream footage is less than spectacular currently. But you can see that that baby is still ejecting lava into the sky. Oh, my. And we'll leave you links to this live stream from La Vanguardia. We're subscribed there already. Give them a thumbs up. And we'll pause this real quick to get some bandwidth to move you over to some amazing drone footage from yesterday that in case you missed it, well, it's worth a view here. And credit where credit's due. Reuters has paid for this drone footage. And a lot of people saw some of the spectacular footage of this lava front moving into a residential yard and, well, just filling up the swimming pool. To scale, you can see some of the size of the lava bombs in here. Look at that. That's literally a five to eight ton lava bomb from the eruption itself that has landed and now being moved down slope by the lava flows themselves. This is a really nice community here uh, in this area of La Palma. That's unfortunately, you can do nothing about it. It's just a slow destruction. You can watch it on TV. And I'm sure the owner of that swimming pool. Take a look at that. Well, is less than happy. But we're happy to bring it to you.
prayers go out to all the people affected by this event. And, well, we're just reporting on it as it occurs. So all these links will be below. Now, secondary news. Etna Volcano, Italy. New paroxysm from the southeast crater sends a tall ash bloom almost 30,000 feet into the sky. And it was spectacular. Etna has been quiet for several weeks. And to wake up to this, well, that's pretty fantastic. Here it is. Here we're looking at the tremor map. You can see it's been kind of quiet. And then that paroxysm last night and as well as the thermals. So that's what's going on on Etna. And we'll be keeping a close eye on the developments at La Palma as they happen. And that's, well, that's quite a development there. That's boom. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We want to thank all 8,000 new subscribers to the channel. We also need to announce that Oppenheimer Ranch Project is live once again, and we'll be doing a full update there this evening. So if you're new to Magnetic Reversal News, we'll leave you links below for Oppenheimer Ranch where you can join us for the news you need to know. And that's a boom to knowledge. <laughs>